Welcome everyone to this new video about downloading and installing CentOS OS 8 and 9. We will start first by visiting CentOS.org. Then you need to go to download. We have here the old distribution from CentOS Linux. It's end of life by the 13th of June 2024. We need the newest one, it's CentOS OS Stream. We have version 8, end of life is uh, 2024, and we have CentOS OS Stream 9. So you can download the RBM from here. You need to click RBMs and save the file. You need to wait until the download is completed. If you need older version, you can take it from here also. You have alternative download ways like torrent. If you want, you can press here and choose which mirror you want to download the torrent from it. After downloading the OS, we will install it on VMware Workstation. I downloaded a lot of CentOS uh, ISO files. I have CentOS 9 stream, I have CentOS 7, CentOS 8 stream. So after downloading the ISO, we will go to our VMware Workstation, go to File and a new virtual machine. I choose all the custom, I go to next, keep it by default, next. Here it will, uh, you will select uh, from which uh, media you will download the OS. Keep it, I will install the operating system later. You can choose Linux, Microsoft or anything else. If you are running VMware Workstation, the newest version, you will find CentOS 8 and 9. Here I don't have, so I'll keep it into 7, 64 bit. This is related to the OS drivers. From this uh, wizard, you will name the virtual machine and choose the location where you want to install your uh, VM image. You need number of processors, I keep it 1, number of cores, 4 is good. 4 gig of RAM is very good. Choose the bridge to get internet connectivity for your virtual machine. Keep it next, next, keep it the default. Create a new virtual desk. Here you choose the size of the virtual desk. I will keep it 60. Next, you have the uh, disk file name, keep it by default, and you press finish. Here is your virtual machine, you can start it up. Now you need to boot from the CentOS uh, ISO file. So I'll power it down and edit virtual machine to choose the ISO file that I downloaded earlier from the CD. You need to use ISO image file. I choose the ISO file. Press connect at power on and OK. Run it again. Power it on again. Here 
it you need to choose install CentOS OS Stream 9 and enter you will wait until it boot it's booting right now we will have the wizard or the configuration page for the OS before installing full OS image as you can see here here is the CentOS Stream 9 installation wizard you choose your language here I'll keep it English and continue in this page you will customize your OS installation first we have I like to go to the network and host name make sure to add the host name here let's say test01 dot local domain dot local and apply here is the name of the machine as you can see the in ethernet is turned off here so you need to turn it on but first we will configure the network go to configure and choose IB version 4 if you are not using a DSCB you need to ch choose this one to change this one to manual here you will add the IP address I will type an IP address I will choose a not used IP address like 200 see it's not pinging I will apply it here the net, subnet mask and the gateway DNS server and save you will notice that it will ping and the network will goes up uh, even uh, before the installation is completed enable the ethernet you will find it will ping directly we choose the bridge in a configuration on the VMware workstation and here it work so our network and name configuration is done now let's go to date and time you can choose your local uh, time range or time zone from this one and you can configure the network time from this tab you can add your local NTP or your local domain controllers here I will not change this for now then you have the software selection this tab is very important software selection it means what packages will be installed with the OS in the first time if you need to install a server with GUI you can choose server with GUI and you can choose here what packages will be installed it's uh, if you need a server like DNS FTP uh, anything else you can choose it from here you can scroll down mail server all of the configuration or the packages selection are from this one for me I like the minimal installation then I choose standard then I will install the packages that I want later if you are testing or trying to learn uh, Linux especially the ones who are learning the CLI commands you need to choose minimal installation and standard if you need a GUI you need to choose server with GUI after pressing the done Mm, install installation source it, I will keep it the default destination the destination or installation destination is very important it's about the storage or the server storage as you can see here is it is the default one you need to select it here in the configuration storage configuration it's automatic if you need 
up to customize you can choose customize when you press done it will allow you to choose your partitioning like standard partitioning or logical volumes for now I will choose it automatic I will discard all the changes I will click here to create them automatically here are all the partitions that you will have click done accept changes I will go back and choose automatic from here you can choose to encrypt also the disks so I will keep it by the on the default settings also before continue or begin the installation you need to uh, set up the root password I'll call I will create a weak password for testing only I will press done twice you need to press because it's a weak password you need to press the done twice after configuring all of these settings especially the root password the begin installation button will be highlighted press it to start the installation I will pause the, the video until the installation is done successfully. The same settings or the same steps are for the stream OS uh, 8 and 9, even for CentOS 7, all of them are the, st the same steps. You will need uh, to wait until the installation is complete. Press Reboot System. and monitor the ping it's working and the OS is booting I will show you right now how to change the network IP address or to configure the network IP address if you missed configuring it or if you want to change it and then we will finish our video you can see here here is the root username and the password I will type NMTUI this is the network management utility press enter edit the connectivity choose edit as you can see here here is the IP address I will change it to two. 201 then go to ok back notice the bing it's still binging we need to restart the service deactive and active again back The ping stop because it's pinging 200. Change it to 201. It's pinging as you can see. Quit the wizard. Clear all the screen. By default, the putty is running. Sorry, I will type the IB address. Okay, you need to choose the certificate to accept. Sorry, root and password.
the road do not have access direct access so we need to add user I will do add user admin then type pass wd admin to change the password I configure the authentication I will go back here and duplicate the session admin and password sudo minus s type the password again to get access or type su minus root to change the privilege to root access type the password again you are root again here i hope you enjoyed and learned from this video thank you for watching this video bye bye